Hi everyone, I'm Joe. It's good to see you again. We will be putting this down today. No swim racing on this video. As we check out this latest build, this latest demo of GT Manager 24. Published by the Tiny Digital Factory. They also developed it, but they did that as alongside IMV Studios, who are also developing the upcoming Seven Cities Action RPG. Just as a disclaimer, I did receive this game this key for free thanks to key mailer as well but um, i'll try and keep my honest opinions on this game as unbiased as possible so this is gt manager 24 formerly gt manager mobile getting a vastly expanded pc version what you see today is going to be the demo does not represent the final version of the product with more than 30 licensed race cars, over 20 drivers and teams, and going to be expanding from there. If you are a fan of similar games like F1 Manager, Motorsport Manager, this could be the game for you. We'll be doing a dive into the demo, seeing exactly what's what, doing one or two races, and all while that's going on, just going to be giving my thoughts. Hopefully we can get some comments from you lot underneath. Let me know if you're looking forward to this, if you've wishlisted this. There is a link in the description underneath. If you want, give it a click. Wishlist this product to Steam through that link, if you can. And if you haven't already, throw up a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, do plenty of other things, including sim racing and other racing management stuff as well. But with me yapping, let's uh, get on with GT Manager 24. So we've jumped straight into the demo, so us is what we want to call our team and it puts us to this screen, main main map full of little bits of pieces, factories, drivers, practice race, all sorts of stuff. Actually a pretty nice menu, you can definitely tell that um, it, it has originated from a mobile game straight away, the, the layouts a little bit basic in places but at the same time it's nice and easy to read if you're new to the management side hopefully uh as we play through uh the game it will be just as easy to get into we've called ourselves cox racing because everyone is talking about cox racing and it's showing a porsche badge in the top corner but i'm pretty sure we can change that as soon as we go into the car factory building anyway this is the car factory building's purpose is to build and equip better performance parts on your racing cars the driver building is where they train and improve the stats of your drivers assemble the best staff around your drivers to maximize their performance on track just as a heads up anyone who's watched me on twitch with football manager streams f1 manager anything like that you will know already that my pronunciation of names is absolutely horrendous no matter what country, no matter what nationality, any accents on the letters, I'm done for. So I apologise in advance because I'm probably going to butcher a few things today but at least that disclaimer is out of the way. We also have the garage. Uh, hosting all your different racing cars, enter now to review the available cars. Don't mind if I do. For this demo, we only have GT4. We also have an opportunity when we get into the full game to have GT3, GT2, GTE, and the hyper cars as well. With that, quickly move my camera across. So look at that. Seamless. Absolutely seamless. We have ourselves Lotus Amira, the Cayman Porsche, Audi RS3 LMS, which by the way, those who watch uh, my iRace and stuff, absolutely love it as a touring car. Be interesting to see what it's like here though. We also have the Celine and the Chevrolet as well. Chevrolet, in my opinion, the nicest looking at the cars. However, I'm going to keep to my slight touring cars background and we are going to go with the Audi RS3. At the moment, by the looks of it, we don't really get much of a choice in terms of how the car looks. That could change on the final build, so I'm withholding my thoughts on that one for now once we get out we uh time for some racing action enter to the championship section 
Welcome to your first GT4 Championship season. The season is composed of 10 rounds to be raced in the world's most, world's most prestigious racing tracks. Aim for the top positions and score points at every race to climb the championship rankings. Start the first race. So, I think I was wondering, and when I got this key and announced it to the stream, one of the main questions straight away when people had sort of read through was just like, okay, official cars, official drivers, teams, etc., etc. What about tracks and by the looks of it i can't confirm yet until i actually go onto the track in fact i can play the formula one i've played the f1 games so i should know that one so not official tracks by the looks of it however with the location they've tried to get as close as possible some perspective um as close as possible to some of the official layouts by the looks of it no official tracks but at the same time, this is a game with a bit of a smaller budget to uh, the big boys out there. So at least there's some effort put put there for the custom tracks. But 10 rounds, GT4 Championship. We're in there with a couple of the other teams as well. Let's uh, get to it. Cost us a little bit of money to get into here. We have $1 million dollars as our budget just there as well starting off the game in the month of february have our leveling up system at the top which we've seen in loads of other games of this uh this type of the management before a few of them do put in a uh, level ups with certain rewards at the end it might be the same here but we're literally five xp off the next level so we'll actually probably experience it very soon A bit of a lag there, but that's fine. It's only a demo. GT4 League One Season Round 1 Championship at Bahrain. It is a sprint for seven laps. Air temperature is 23 degrees with a track at 33. That seems very, very cool for Bahrain, but... Hey. As we go through... Oh, it's jumped us straight in. Okay, so it's just a preview of the track. Fun graphics. This is on the highest quality at the moment through uh, Steam, and it looks like it's redone. It's done the, it's done the qualifying laps for us, so we don't get to do the qualifying laps by the looks of it, unless that's coming in a uh, full game. Anyway, from the looks of it, everyone got on sauce for qualifying, as you could, as you'd imagine. Tire selection. Let's see how in depth it goes here. Oh, I like this screen. Uh, with the start race in the middle, I actually have a camera for that as well. Boom, boom. Seamless. I should do this for a living. So, meteorologist, we are slightly covering that, but he says no more weather changes expected until the end of the race. We have both of our drivers on either side. We have... I did this. Did this as a disclaimer. Don't worry. We have Mauro Engel, and we have Daniel... Junkadella. Perfect. We'll watch you lot in the comments tell me that I absolutely butchered that one. Tire selection before the race you have to chase. Oh, choose. The font is a little bit hard for me to read sometimes. You have to choose the tire type to equip on both cars. When the weather is dry, you can choose a soft tire for better performance or medium tire to reduce the number of stops during the race. Standard for the management games. But how everything looks at the moment, everything is pretty simple you have all the information you need on the screen you've got both your sets of drivers similar to the um, mm games as well you can select all your tires on the side and it will show up on the screen as well oh, it updates on the screen at the same time if you look at the uh, top corner just up there so two of the drivers down the bottom are going for to start off with mediums we will probably go for I'm going to swap the strategies around slightly. It gives you the range of how many laps you can do on the tyres. Just says the so softs 2 to 3, mediums 3 to 4s. No hard tyres that I can see here, but maybe in the other series there'll be a, a vast expansion on the tyres that you can use. Also, your weather report in the top corner, so weather expected during the second half of the race. We're in Bahrain. I'd be very shocked if it changes to anything else change what the meteorologist says just there can't spin the camera around so i can't see how cool my car looks all the way around 
got all your stats at the bottom corners for both drivers and cars. There's nothing else really for me to click apart from the options and the options have thrown me into full screen mode. I'll make a note of that. That I shouldn't really need to do anything else. We know that our leader, we know um, Daniel is going to be on a medium, so three to four laps, depending on the pushing I'm presuming, but let's just go straight to the race. Epic music continues. Epic music stops. So going straight in and oh there we go. <laughs> no more weather changes expected for the end of the race. Ah, okay. Tutorial bottom corner. During the race you can't you don't directly don't control directly the cars, but you can ask your drivers to increase or lower their speed. You want to push or use boosts to overtake cars in front or slow down to cool down your engine and tires. Monitor one of those gauges to take the right decisions during the race. Stop at the pits when the tire degradation is high and keep an eye on the engine and tires. Temperatures to adjust to driver's pace. So if we have a quick look at this, as easy as going by, hold the fast forward button to fast forward. This is behind my camera. You got your three little actions just there. Standard with uh, quite a few of the uh, management games. It's usually uh, pause, different speeds, and a little icon to send you out to the a top-down map view. So the race overview is pretty much as you'd expect for games like this. Can't spin the map around that, I've, that I can see. Click the button and then go down here. At the moment, first and third positions. Looking at what we have to monitor in the bottom corners, we have engine percentage just there. Tires. This is a common use of tires. A pit stop can allow them to be changed. And then bottom one, I'm guessing, is oil temperature. I'm putting my mouse over it, but it's not giving me a, uh, not giving me any explanation. Anyway, camera on top of Mara at the moment. Daniel on the slower compound, the mediums down in seventh place at the moment. You can spin the camera around. You can also zoom in with the mouse wheel. How far back can we go? Pretty far back. There's a few people going straight into the pits. We're on 63%. I'm going to both for guys to take it easy okay so going to the first one it does allow the engines to to recharge as it may let's go to Mario Mario at the moment is uh just over a second in front do we have an option to change how far people are in front or behind not by the looks of it do you have free boosts available to us as well going on 70% on the tires and back to 97% so we'll set back to here for 96% we'll uh, use one of the boosts as well how good are the boosts well, it does give you a visual representation of it and Yun or Daniel even in 13th place at the moment 63% left on the tyres not sure what point we get to with the tyres before uh, you start to notice a drop in lap times however a lot of the laps at the moment are going sub two minutes 159 is currently on a two three because we have been resting the engine a little bit uh, we are going to use one of the boosts here as well see how long that lasts for also we get three boosts per race and oof, got to get in touch with the stewards on that one that's clearly a dangerous dangerous block 50 percent on the tires i'm seeing if 40 percent goes to yellow it doesn't most games are usually looking at about 50% to get some tire degradation and then 30% is when 30-25% is usually when the thing hits the fan. For the moment, so far so good, we've got our second place at P16 over here, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, when we hit pit stop, ah okay so it doesn't, we can pause the game ourselves if we want to see what we're doing. Engine carriers on running in the background though as you can hear. So durability 3 to 4 laps. It just seems with lap 3 we've still got a fair bit of tyre left so maybe when it goes to lap 4 we'll look at getting swapped over to the medium. Uh, looks like a few on the softs are actually going in now so I am going to 
make the decision for the pit stop. Go go really quick this time. And we are going to get Marvo over to the mediums. We're going to swap Daniel over to softs. I am going to have Daniel slow down a little bit because we are going to double stack it. I didn't mean to, I swear. Unless he's going to cut across there, which would be um, slightly dangerous. Anyway, I'm happy with that. So we're healing just there. Uh, so you get pit stop for Maro. Going to swap him over to the mediums. He's running that engine ragged. Going to use one more boost as well while we're at it. Going to just get as much as he can out of that last set on the tyres. Just slow down or stop at the pit to regain. Okay. But 20% it's giving us a little warning just there and behind the camera the pits technician going through there and anyway both going in for their pits very very soon and we've got another couple of corners to go and second place just absolutely bolting it past us Ooh, you don't want to pass here if I'm going in the pits there we go 10th place just there going in but the management side of this isn't too deep it's, it's more about by the looks of it micromanaging during the bases doing what you can with it great pit stop by the way a near perfect double stack I do say so myself and also once you're in the pits everything goes back to 100% and then you can uh, go along your day absolutely normally we're just waiting for uh, Daniel to come out the pits now 11th place still got three boosts also you get a boost back as well so we'll get a boost on both of those at the moment so angle currently fourth place gonna be slightly catching up to everybody else if we go to the track map to see exactly how close we are it looks like we've got a problem with someone going off to the side there keep a watch of the engines about 75 percent on both lap five out of seven but leader long way in front and it's showing two people at the end there so are we about to see two people like stopped on the first corner yeah there's two cars out there on the corner no one's just they've just decided to stop there and leave it there for the rest of the race uh, p9 at the moment down here slowly making his way up in the one that minute 59s angle just as quick but leaders 52s and 53s just absolutely smashing it out of the park at the moment we need to be gaining a little bit of tire just there probably go for a quickest lap from Yun. And even though we qualified in first and second it looks like micromanaging in the race is a little bit more difficult than it looks well oh, leaders have gone back in for one more uh, one more pit stop as we've gone from a soft to a medium this could help us out absolutely massively as Engel goes by last lap let's get the boost on he's going to be using his engine up quite a bit and both the leaders are out looks like a new medium tyre so we're just going to have to keep watch of everybody else slow it down a little bit there last lap here as well let's use the boosts hopefully we can get uh, Daniel deep in deep 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 into the top tens depending on how everyone else is going to be running at last lap we're losing a couple of positions so we're going to speed it up a little bit we are on the slower compound for angle if he can gain as much as he's losing come up to that last corner let's push it let's push it ah, it looks like he's going to get overtaken on that last one unless we can get sick at the end and oh I like that camera for the last bit we get that final position 10th place for Daniel oh different camera angle and everything and there we go so it looks like the leader managed to get a four lap stint and you know what we should have really used our heads with angle if we'd done half of the race on softs why didn't we do the rest of the race on softs? 
sometimes we're just idiots. It's just the way it is. Two in the top 10. Just in case you're doing your own team and you're wondering, oh, do I need to do all caps? By the looks of it in this GT4 league, which doesn't have official teams in it, another case is absolutely fine. And it's popped into full screen again. Okay. Okay. So it's popped into full screen again. It looks like we have some new buildings. Let's quickly get this back out of full screen mode. The only reason I'm not doing it on full screen mode is because I do have an ultra wide monitor. It does squeeze everything down. And I don't like clicking off it because I've got a few things open in the background as well while recording this today. So we've unlocked the marketing building. Get ourselves in for that. So a nice easy build. It's other management games you get a few days or a few weeks before it's built this one straight away oh no you know what i take that back building come back in one races that's proven me wrong hasn't it over to the driver bit we'll have a quick look so the driver building is where you train and improve the stats of your drivers assemble the best staff around your drivers to maximize their performance on track they have velocity overtaking consistency and wet velocity Going back to what we said earlier about GT Manager originally on mobile, you definitely see that in certain places on this. This screen definitely with the little profile cards just here. Uh, we have our costs, we have different levels. As you can see the XP at the top, unlocked at level 11 to get some training in. That'd be what the XP is used for amongst many other things as well. If we go over to our driver angle, we've got a little train button underneath. It's literally that. Spend dollars, get some training done. And when we go back in, he's suddenly level seven to the better of the two drivers. Eventually looking like we can hire race engineers, coaches, we have a sporting coach here as well, which we can uh, check in and train. Once everyone's gained enough XP, we can get them trained up, which Raises our overall level as well, and we get a few extra upgrades in there as well. Uh, let's train up the rest of the drivers and the crew then. Got that there. In the inventory underneath, we have additional drivers. Just having a quick look at them now. It looks like they're not as good as what we have at the moment. So I wonder with the official drivers that we have here in the game, is going to be pretty much like your new gens, regens, that sort of thing. Don't know if there's anything we can do about that. If we can chuck them in, we can, but it does at least tell you at the top how much better or how much worse they are. Oh, it's race engineers. Okay, so we've got some training here as well. Training strategy learning. So how would I use that? Got the relax room. Let's go with strategy learning. Is it just a drag and drop? Unless it's just we drag it into the middle there. I'm going to go with that now. I might be wrong. I could be completely right. Racing crew is unlocked. Uh, is locked even. Racing crew building holds the garage and pit lane staff. Travelling to each race of the calendar. The logistics lobby. Car factory. Jump in. Equip new performance parts and assign engineers to boost your car performances. Acceleration, top speed, handling and tyre degradation. Same sort of screen as what we had for the driver training but ahead of chassis steering just there as well in fact because that's steering we should be able to add that and it will give us an extra free on handling same thing as well we can upgrade while we're here Head of chassis just there we've got another head just there but we've got an engine department aerodynamics our guy here not as good as what we already have so we'll go back also have research and scouting coming soon, perhaps in the full game. So buildings where you research new car parts, scout for sponsors and recruit new team members. So all that in the same part of the game together. So marketing is being built. We'll be able to check that out after the next race. We'll do one more race, I think. See if there's anything new in the garage. 
Nothing new in the garage, we can change cars if we really, really want to. But we have put an upgrade to our Audi, so we'll stick with that for now. Second race of the championship is UAE. And the fact that we've got the first three races unlocked for the demo. So, you know what? We'll do a full playthrough of the demo in one sitting. Why not? Oh, okay. Showed on the screen there uh, what has and hasn't been unlocked. Next up, UAE. Sprint 7 laps. 26 degrees, tracks to 36. For this place, it's very cool. Going for the qualifying. Nice little street circuit. That'll be F1 racing here in two seasons time. Going over to the tyre selections. It's once again a seven lap race. I am tempted to actually cheese it with a full soft. We'll go full softs. No more ever changes expected until the end of the race. So we'll do that. We've got both our drivers in. We'll jump straight into the race. No problem for me. Get ourselves out. Looks like we're qualified first and second again. And what we'll do is we will have one driver in after three laps, put the other in after four, place with the same tyre, and we'll see how that goes. Straight away, we will boost whoever's in P1, which is Engel. Let's get him in. And this time we'll just work on getting as big as a lead as we can. Keeping a watch on the engine percentages. For those who want to see the track. Is this a Monaco layout? No, not quite. No, not quite. Had my doubts. 50% on the engines at the moment, so I'm going to slow down angle very shortly in fact team orders let's get daniel through so we've got him slowing completely down got daniel slowing down there keep going for a bit just to get the engines in a better condition we'll carry on until it's 60 percent on the engines seven seconds quicker there we go by the looks of it pushing harder or softer doesn't really affect too much how much you use your tyres. We had, had Engel boost him, but his tyres didn't go that much lower. Whether that's something that can be addressed in a future update, who knows. But now lap two. Getting through nicely. I'm uh, going to get the rest catching up to us very, very soon. And once again, it's, it's just literally just little bits of uh, micromanagement. It's all you need for this. And so far, so good. We're, we're smashing this out of the park. We are going to probably, I'm just deciding. Oh. The engine about to blow up on us. We will have Daniel pit first. He's pitting. We're going to have him go all out. Boost as well. Try and willing to do just to get him a. Uh... If the engines do truly go back to 100% when you pit, then the last lap obviously needs to be the quickest one. Get as much distance as possible. One angle it's just the last one more lap, so we'll get him going there. Let's look at those boosts. He's low on his engine, that's fine. And he's coming up to the pit lane just there. Perfect. Engel, one lap left, 33% left on his tires. Probably gonna get a lot of people uh stopping by now. Let's get a boost in. All that's going on, let's get our pit stop sorted. We gotta swap over to some more softs. Engine now cooling down, and yep, your engine goes to 100%. So after coming out of the pits, Daniel finds himself in fourth place. Has someone else who's made an earlier pit stop by the looks of it, a lap earlier in front of us. Then we've got a medium 
compound as well. And while, while we're at the uh, last part of the lap, let's get angle boosted a bit. Two boosts left for Daniel. Let's get one of those in now. First and third we find ourselves in at the moment. Looks like we're slowing down a little bit with uh, the tyre wear getting a little bit lower. We gain reliability. Let's get that in. And we're about to get past at the end. You can definitely see 11% of tyres really, really slowing us down there. Young going past, about to take the lead out for a pit stop. Looks like the four, four lapper might not have been, uh, might not have been the one. Coming back on track, got a few people on mediums in front of us. We're definitely going to be in the best condition here. Let them go in. We'll use one of the boosts early as well. Forty-four uh, percent. We're only just in the lead, but uh, dreadfully slow lap. I just need to uh, calm down on the engine a little bit. But we do have a lap. A lap up on the Lotus, which is... Uh, oh no, we've been overtaken by a Lotus. Fastest lap of the race as well, 157. Got another Lotus behind us, potentially the same team. But yeah, once again, just constantly looking at both bottom corners. Seeing what needs micromanaging, we find ourselves back in first place at the moment. Let's see if we can save as much of that engine as possible. Angle in... Oh no, it's not Angle in second place. That's a that's a different angle behind him. That, if that is on the same tyre conditions as us. I have two laps left, so we'll go at a slightly quicker pace. Angle, we're just going to let run as he is. One boost left for both. In fact, no, we're going to save some of that. We'll get the boost now for Daniel. See if that uh, gives him a chance to, to catch up and pass this competitor in front. Angle just there. Uh, oh, no, do not pit. Do not pit. Cancel. Cancel pit stop. We'll use the last boost now. Got quite a few coming around us at the moment. P2, not bad though. And they've gone in for one more pit stop. It is now going to be the final lap of the race. We've just got to keep it going. Keep it going. Angle here could be coming out. Now's the time to push. And he's come out in second place. Uh, fourth? No, apparently fourth. I can't count. Do apologise. He's going to be pushing for the rest of this. Meanwhile, we're a bit low on our toy ch tire choices, and it looks like the medium could have been the tire to have. We have to slow down and uh, let them through here. Meanwhile, Angle catching, pushing as much as he possibly can. And trying to hold off, could potentially get a podium here. Having to really, really slow it down. Let's go back to medium. Medium push. Angle pushing as hard as he can now. Third and fourth though, I'll take that. So we're making our way through. And oh, we just get pipped by somebody else. We've literally ruined it for ourselves, but we get a fourth and a fifth. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Race finished and the cars are gonna just blow up halfway through. Halfway through the parade lap at the end. Yeah, it's like even those doing two stoppers uh, just completely wiped the floor with us. That That is not nice to see. And maybe it just shows how much going underneath 40-30% actually does for your tyres. We'll keep that in mind for the final race. Hopefully the final race, everything will finally come right. Onto the market building. So the marketing building has four objectives to finance your racing activity, find sponsors and sell merchandise and items in order to increase your team revenues. So we're looking at race rewards, sponsor objectives, on track merchandising and online merchandising. I'm a sucker for the online merchandising. So merchandising department over there, sponsor department we need a head of a major sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. 
So, underneath us, we have these here. I just realised it's gone full screen again. It loves going full screen, doesn't it? Loves it. There we go. So, as you can see, in this middle bit, we have our different sponsors here. Business, business developer and a well two different types of business developer so we'll put that one just there we have three different sponsors so we got green energy e-power and you know it's a good sponsor but it's just like what's the name of your sponsor racing don't think we have any major just so we've got public relations business developer nothing for uh the major just there can't put any of this merchandise anywhere either so that'll probably be merchandise in department once you unlock it level 15. got a stadium over there for challenges each season new challenges are available in this section beat those challenges to earn additional cash prizes and rewards that might be similar to another similar game where after three four rounds you get invited to like a, a world tournament and it just seems to be on the very sort of similar vein to that we also have ma manufacturer cups as well different manufacturers for as you can see aston martin and porsche being being the examples just there one for a united kingdom sprint and another for one of the tracks in india i don't think we've uh, i think we've pretty much got everything of course practice races as well between races you can practice on the various circuits of the championship to adjust your car settings but now all that's been done let's uh, go to the final race of the video in malaysia sprint a bit a bit heavier on the temperature for that one so definitely going to be a case of if the temperatures hold up Maybe not running the tires solo. So skip through on the intro video straight to the qualifying lap. Updates in real time in the top corner. And once again, our our sprint ability is fantastic. Just just whoever's managing them, I don't know who the manager is. They're just not doing a very good job. We're not first this time though. Right, so Team RBQ. I oh, know they're all in caps this time. I've the entire selection. Seven laps. And I think we are going to. I think for Rangel, we will go softs and then to mediums. I'm going to try a two stop strategy with Daniel and we're going to see how that one goes. No changes to the weather. Last race, let's do this. So going across, no more ever changes expected for the end of the race, as expected. We will push both drivers straight away. Use the boat boost on angle first. Look at that beautiful overtake from the outside. Do the same for Daniel as well. Interesting lines through there, both completely different ones. Making their way through and as you can see on the standings in the top corner. Soft tyres, that much quicker than the mediums. Okay, that's the boosts done, so I'm just going to slow down Daniel just there. Got Mauro, I'm going to slow down now. So the engine's going to be down, going down a little bit, uh, a little bit slower. First lap coming up now. Let's see what lap times are like for this circuit in Malaysia. We're looking at 224, 225s. We'll uh, see how this goes. We do need to uh, slow both cars down for a little bit micromanage the engines I'm not sure if having lower engines makes your cars slower as it goes along
I'm going to actually pit on this lap if we are going for our uh, our strategy of a free stopper it's on 50% tyres at the moment making his way round while uh, Mauro goes to 60 and we'll have him go a little bit quicker now so 24% on his engine but I think we're literally just approaching the pits now there we go he is in Up Maro. Got one more lap for him. Let's quickly put him onto a boost this lap and we are going to pit him in for mediums. Now that we know a little bit more about the game. Apparently it works out for us. We're coming out of the pits on softs, pushing that engine. How's Maro doing? Maro is still in the lead at the moment. Was four seconds slower than the car behind last lap. You have angle. Uh, meanwhile, thirteenth position, which is kind of to be expected. I mean, he did a uh, did pit very early, but look how just carving through those mediums, mediums tires. We uh, not boost so much here, though. Oh, traffic jam up ahead. Now would be a good time to use that boost. Uh, slow down. That could end up hurting our chances. Gain one position, but we lose another one. It's literally, it's literally like a Tesco car park in here at the moment. That's not good. Right, we'll calm down there a bit. Meanwhile, angle in the pit. Maybe swapping over to those mediums. I am going to use that last boost now. Hopefully with that we can get in front of anybody just coming out of the pits. Four, five, six, seven. Let's get pushing for this whole stop and we'll go for our last pit stop. Okay, regressive there. Okay, let's get a boost in for Mauro just there. Currently finds himself in eighth position. Engel is. Oh, okay. Bug found. I can't actually switch between uh, <laughs> between either driver at the moment. It seems so. We're just going to be watching uh, Daniel until then. Just calm down before we jump into the pits. Daniel in third place at the moment, so he's got both the leaders in front of him fighting it out. And they're both still going to be fighting out for another lap. So let's see if we can uh, pit a bit sooner. Get an early cut on them. But remember, we're going to be coming out the court. The uh, it very slow. And that was very delayed. And yet again, we can't. We cannot swap drivers at the moment. Oh, we might be able to now. Now we can. Now that the pit stop's been done. A couple more laps left. Just going to have to go very, uh, very slowly here. We've still got one more boost left. Just boosting away. Let's slow it down. We have two more laps left after this. We find ourselves in fourth and in seventh. So we're doing okay. We're doing absolutely fine. I'm going to use that boost for Engel now though. And that boost didn't seem to last long at all for him. It's what it is. Okay, we've got second place in the pits at the moment. Hopefully we can start gaining one or two more positions. Can swamped here, Daniel is. Go back on to uh, no longer conserving. As Daniel gets by that pretty quick, we was going to use a boost, but we're actually going to lay off it for now. Fourth place has gone in for some fresh softs, and looks like they could be uh, 
battling for the win, same with second place as well. So it's just so not quite right with our cars at the moment. Either that or we have fantastic qualifying pace, not great race pace. Pretty much the Ferraris of the GT4 world. Getting ourselves round. Not much longer left. We're going to have one lap left after this. One boost left for Daniel, which we're going to use now. Just to finish off the... Uh, most of the boost, boost literally just lasts for a couple of seconds. Gotcha. Could be great for a uh, overtaking tool, actually. Must be a, like a push-to-pass button sort of thing. Usually getting Brazilian stock cars, Indy car as well. Right, last lap, third and fifth place now. Do have uh, soft tyres all around us at the moment. Doesn't seem to be any way for me to get any more info than this while racing. So like, I'm, I'm clicking around, looking to... Okay, you go to full screen mode again, that's cool. <laughs> Can't see like uh, any ways of, of getting additional information like... Oh, let's put that down a little bit. Go. So, for instance, we can't get the relative between the car in front and the car behind. We just seem to have last lap. I'm clicking around everywhere, and, and for now, there's nothing. That could potentially come in another upgrade. Like I said, this is a demo version of this, so... Got the pretty much the bare bones. But if they are looking at adding more stuff to this game, then this could be a, a good little time waster for everyone. Right, last push. No more boosts. And Yun finishes in Yun. Daniel finishes in sixth. We were at 12th place with Engel just there. So even though the winner was on pretty much the same strategy as Engel who finished 12th, pit twice in the under softs after one lap. After one lap. Still finished 45 seconds in front. I'm either doing something completely wrong here, or the Lotus is just suited to this track. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I haven't had... There's not been a... Oh, hang on. Just showing the rest of uh, the stuff that we've had here, which we've already, already done. Go back to uh, non-full screen mode. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot in terms of uh, tutorials during the races. Just like, this is what you got. This is what each control does. We're not going to give you any threshold or anything like that. We're just going to let you sort of learn on the job. And in some cases, that's okay. I wish there was a little bit more of that in this game. But as it stands, that would be pretty much the the end of the demo. With, I've, it's, been, it's been good. I've, I've liked it. I do feel there's... A lot of features that it's missing but at the same time because because it is a demo and just based on the fact that it is a demo a lot has been hidden from us there's a lot still in development the game will be coming out very very soon and in terms of other management games I think if you're used to other management games you know exactly what you're going to be getting with this one there needs to be a few more prompts, maybe for newer players to management games, a bit more of a tutorial about it. That could be on offer, we don't know yet. But for the build up we've got, it was a good little good little time waster. I've been sort of playing around with this on and off this video for about an hour, two hours now. And I like it. I like it. Um, in terms of whether you lot will like it, why not give it a go? Check it onto your wish list, see what price it comes out of as. There's a link underneath in the video description with a with a link to the wish list, so please use that when checking it on. It's completely free to put on the Steam wish list by the way. And let me know your comments underneath what you thought of the video, what you thought of the game, what features you feel like they should be adding in. And well you've seen all the cars we've started with so far, Lotus, Porsche, Audi. 
Celine and Chevrolet and we've got underneath that you can see as well Mercedes-Benz, Audi, BMW and as we go through the categories a lot of um, very interesting very very interesting oh it's the Valkyrie AMR Pro ooh ooh now that I've seen that <laughs> a lot of different uh, categories for you to sink your teeth into um as I say, it is uh, more than 30 licensed race cars, 20 drivers and teams as well. Thank you again to Tiny Digital Factory and IMV Studios and Keymailer as well. Let me have a free review copy of this game. I've said it plenty of times during the video, but through my final thoughts, this is a demo. This is a review copy. So what you see may not necessarily be what comes out when uh, the game is released. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Hope if you haven't already that you've uh, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel to check out the rest of the content we do here as well. I want to hear your thoughts underneath in the comments. What you thought of uh, this playthrough and if you're looking at getting the game yourself. Also let me know what features you think that the game's missing that you think would really put it one step above the rest but take care of yourselves take care of each other and i'll see you either on the next video or the next stream have a good one